Okay, I hope everybody had enough time to ask their questions to their partner and record their partner's response. Now that we've done that, we are going to start writing our paper. But in order to start writing our paper, we need to learn how to take what your partner said in their recording and turn it into your own words into a paper. So we don't want to write the exact words that your partner said. We call that transcribing. And that would take so long to sit there and write exactly what the person said. So has anyone ever heard of paraphrasing in any of their classes before? Exactly. So paraphrasing is rewording someone else's ideas into your own. And you don't want to write exactly what your, your partner said. Does anyone know what it's called when you do take someone else's ideas and say that they're your own? Exactly. We talked about that a couple weeks ago. We call that plagiarism. And so instead, we're going to take the main ideas of what our partner said and rewrite it into our own words. Let's start by doing an example together. I'm going to play an audio recording about a girl named Christine. And she tells us some of her hobbies, some things she likes and some things she doesn't like. And while she's talking, I want you to write down a bullet list. So just a few words for each thing of what she does like and what she doesn't like. And then after, we're going to take those main ideas and write a sentence. Okay, here's the recording. Hello, my name is Christine. And I will tell you a bit about my hobbies. I like singing and dancing. I go dancing once every week usually salsa dancing. I also enjoy watching films. I try to go to the cinema every week and watch at least two or three films a week. I quite like shopping. I go shopping with my friends and usually spend quite a lot of money. I'm interested in cycling as well. I try and cycle three miles every day. I don't mind swimming. I go to the swimming pool now and then. I'm fond of reading and writing as well. I can't stand playing football or rugby. I think they're too dangerous. And I can't bear rock climbing because I think it's too scary. Okay, finish up writing some of her main ideas. Um, let's discuss what people wrote down. What are some things that she likes and that she doesn't like? Yeah, exactly. She likes singing and dancing and watching films, shopping, cycling. Do you know what cycling is? It's like biking um, and reading. She sometimes likes swimming. And she doesn't like football, rugby, or rock climbing. So I'm glad you wrote some of those down. Now, for the next few minutes, I want you to take that list that you wrote and turn it into two sentences. One to two sentences. Um, and when you finish, I want you to turn to your partner and share those sentences. Okay? Let's take a minute and do that. Guess what? You guys just paraphrased. You took someone else's ideas and someone else's words and you wrote your own sentences. So that was perfect. Does somebody want to share one of their sentences that they wrote? Okay, thank you. Awesome, that was a perfect sentence. Does anyone else have a sentence they want to share? Exactly, okay. Um, let's try a few more examples. I've put together a Kahoot, and on the Kahoot, we're going to practice paraphrasing someone else's ideas. So the question will be a sentence that someone else has said, and then the answer is going to be a way that you can write it in your own words, or you might write it in your own words. So 
let's start with that Kahoot. All right, are there any other questions about paraphrasing? Are we ready to start writing our own papers based on our recordings? Okay, so with the last few minutes of class, your exit ticket for the day is your first two sentences of your six sentence paragraph um, of your partner's hobbies. So I want you to take a few minutes, listen to the recording. You can just listen to the first part to start out. And at the end of class, before you walk out the door, I want to see those two sentences to make sure that you're on the right track because your homework for tonight is to finish those six sentences, all six sentences. And you'll walk into class with your paragraph about your partner's hobbies. Okay.